Hey, I'm Kate and this is Rome.us. We continue discussing the topic about the best day trips from Rome. And of course, one of the most famous options is to go to Umbria, which is only two hours from Rome by car. You can also reach the region easily by train or by bus. Today I will show you Perugia and Assisi, which are two most famous cities of this region. The city of Perugia is famous for its mini-metro system. It's impossible to imagine the visit to the city without taking a ride to this metro. Let's try to buy the ticket. This is Palazzo de Priori, the palace situated in the center of Old Town. Previously it was home to civil magistrate and later for local governor. There are two main symbols of the city, the lion and the griffin. Now we are on one of the main squares of the city. It is famous because people usually come here just to sit on the stairs. There are many people and usually there are famous markets located in here. The Cathedral of St. Lawrence, which was completed in 1490. But the facade of this church had never been completed and you can see it from the pink and white marble. Formerly it was the seat of bishops. This is the main church of this city. But of course the main reason why all tourists come to Perugia is because of its chocolate. And Perugina is the most famous chocolate in Italy. You have to try it. So this is one of the most popular Perugian hotels, Hotel Brofani, which has four stars and is considered the best because of its price, quality, service. Perugia has an amazing atmosphere. Also, there are many students from different countries. It will take hours to explore the whole city, its medieval streets and beautiful piazzas. The most notable landmark of Assisi is Basilica of St. Francis, which was begun in 1228, two years after the death of the saint. It has two stores, the upper level and lower level. In 1818, the crypt was added to the tomb of St. Francis. Also, it contains frescoes from the early Renaissance era, which are considered one of the best in Italy.
This is the Temple of Minerva, which was built in 1st century BC. Now it houses a church called Santa Maria Sopra Minerva, which was built in 1539 and renovated in 17th century in Baroque style. Since it's a touristic city, there are so many souvenirs which are connected to St. Francis, who is the main person with whom the city is associated. Assisi Cathedral, dedicated to St. Rufinus, is the major Romanesque church in Assisi. The construction was started in 1140 to the designs by Giovanni da Gubbio, as attested by the wall inscription visible inside the apse. The cathedral has been important in the history of the Franciscan order, in this church, St. Francis of Assisi, St. Clair and many of their original disciples were baptized. Of course, the best way to explore Umbria is by car. This is an amazing idea to stay in the countryside of Umbria. Me and my friends decided to book villa which is only 10 minutes away from Assisi. And we are here already for the third time. Now I will introduce you this villa. We have a spacious villa with two bedrooms. You can order breakfast here or you can prepare it by yourself since there is a kitchen.